Hello everyone, in this video we are gonna talk about what BIOS is and why it's an integral part of the booting process. Let's get started. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It's software stored on a small memory chip called firmware on the motherboard that allows you to set up your computer system at the most basic level. BIOS identifies, configures, tests and connects computer's hardware devices such as hard drive, printer, keyboard, optical drive, mouse, etc. to the operating system after a computer is turned on. This is called a booting process. BIOS is the very first software to run after a computer starts. Right after a computer is turned on, it's really important to make sure that there are no issues with hardware that could potentially compromise the computer's functionality. This is what BIOS does. It instructs the computer on how to perform hardware initialization during the booting process. As I stated before, BIOS is firmware used to provide runtime services for operating systems. It comes pre-installed on computer's motherboard and it's non-volatile. That means its settings are saved and recoverable even after power has been removed from the device. Alright, let's go a little bit more deeper into it. BIOS actually is a computer program that is typically stored in erasable programmable read-only memory and used by the CPU to perform startup functions when the computer is turned on. Technically, BIOS is responsible for POST, power on self-test, the initial set of diagnostic tests performed by the computer right after it is powered on, with the intent to check for any hardware-related issues. POST is the first step of the boot sequence, and it is always going to run, regardless of whether you have just restarted your computer or you are turning it on for the first time. POST checks that basic system devices are present and working properly. Computer will continue to boot after POST, but only if POST successful. If POST finds an issue, you will get an error and hopefully this would be clear enough for you to jumpstart the troubleshooting process. BIOS works pretty straightforward. Right after a user presses the power button, Computer's microprocessor passes control to the BIOS to start computer. BIOS then boots up a computer. It first determines whether all of the necessary hardware devices are in place and operational. Any piece of hardware containing files the computer needs to start is called a boot device. After testing and ensuring boot devices are functioning, BIOS loads the operating system into the computer's RAM from a hard disk and your computer gets ready to work. After startup, BIOS manages the flow of data between operating system and hardware devices. In fact, BIOS acts as a middleman between operating system and hardware devices. It is always the intermediary between the microprocessor and input-output devices. Alright, let me get your head around four main functions of BIOS. POST – Power on Self-Test as I mentioned earlier, POST tests the computer hardware and makes sure no error exists before loading the operating system. If it detects an error, then it generates beep codes. Those codes help you to troubleshoot the issue. You can find the meaning of beep codes from device manufacturer's website. Bootstrap Loader It finds the operating system. If a capable operating system is located, BIOS will pass control to it. BIOS drivers. They are stored in the non-volatile memory. Their primary function is to supply basic computer hardware information. CMOS setup. This is a configuration program that enables users to alter hardware and system settings such as date, time and passwords. Let's wrap it up. BIOS is used to examine all hardware connections and detects all your devices to start an operating system. If it doesn't detect a single hardware device or something is missing, computer won't start. Alright, this was all about today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.